Okay, here we have the xy plane, coordinate plane with line k. And line k is equal to 3x minus 2y equals to 0. Now, we don't really have to draw out the plane or even worry about line k beyond what they're asking for here, which is simply what is the x-intercept and what is the y-intercept. And what that means is where does, I guess I will draw that out just for illustrative purposes here, the y-intercept is where does the line k cross this y-axis. The x-intercept is where does it cross the x-axis. And to find that, you have to make either x or y equal to 0, depending on which intercept you want to find. And I'm going to show you in a second what that means. But first, I want to put this equation up here into a standard form that allows us to figure out what the what x, y intercept are respectively. And that form is the y equals mx plus b form. I know that may sound scary and conjure up nightmares from middle school or high school, but it's not that bad. All we're going to do is we're going to put the y over here and we're going to put the x over there, meaning I'm going to say negative 2y equals negative 3x plus 0. Now this b, which stands from here, is the actual y-intercept. And we already know right away that the y-intercept has to be equal to 0. I'm going to finish, though, putting this into the usual form, just over negative 2, which gives us 3 half x. And again, the y-intercept is 0. You can always find the y-intercept by making x equal to 0. So when x is 0, 0 times 3 half is 0. What's left over? Well, simply 0. So the y-intercept is 0. Likewise, bring this line back up over here. If I want to find the x-intercept, I want to make y equal to 0. So if y is equal to 0 and we solve for x, what do we get? Well, x is equal to 0. And if they're both equal to 0, that means they're equal, which is answer choice C.